I am Dr. Sharjil and you are watching my YouTube channel. If you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe my channel at the end. Now, trauma is one of the most common presentation in eye clinics. Uh, look at this 20 years old male factory worker cornea. Some sharp metallic object has produced full thickness, a square shaped inferior corneal wound that need to be repaired as soon as possible to prevent infection and sight loss. Now patient was very cooperative so I decided to perform it under topical anesthesia. Ideally it should be done under general anesthesia and you have to avoid local anesthesia because of a fear of extrusion of the intraocular contents as intraorbital pressure is raised. So first suture is always very challenging whether you are performing keratoplasty or corneal tear or even cataract uh, extracapsular cataract extraction. Patient was as it was under topical anesthesia patient was moving the eye superiorly due to protective bells phenomena but as the wound was inferiorly so it was uh, in a sense uh, good for us that there was proper exposure. Ideally paracentesis port should be performed, anterior chamber should be well formed with viscoelastic but here as the wound was clean and fresh I put viscoelastic through corneal wound to make anterior chamber which should not ideally be done and started suturing with two horizontal sutures with 10 0 nylon during the process anterior chamber became shallow again but after first successful horizontal suture anatomical landmarks become clear and easily identifiable and the next suture was easy to perform you can see we have performed the first suture and now we are about to start the second horizontal suture now you should be very clear that you are going through the partial thickness cornea you are not taking the iris because you can see here that now the viscoelastic have been uh, out of the eye and anterior chamber have become shallow so there are chances that you can take a iris bite along with the suture but I had made sure that I go deep into the corneal stroma and avoid iris incarceration into the suture so we are about to complete the second horizontal suture for this a square shaped uh, inferior corneal wound that is extending uh, up to the inferior pupillary margin and now I am starting the first uh, vertical suture now the view of the first vertical suture is not um, ideal uh, because my hand is obstructing the view but you are you can observe the hand movements that how you have to pass the needle from one end of the wound towards the next end and you have to make sure that you don't go into the pup uh, pupillary axis so that's why for the fourth vertical suture um, i align the cameraman so that it can be easily captured like here you can see that's the fourth suture in total and the second vertical suture now I am coming just up to the margin of the inferior pupil now there is a challenge you have to pass the suture into healthy cornea so that it shouldn't cheese wire and again you have uh, to go as in uh, inferior as possible uh, so that uh, the suture shouldn't uh, obstruct the pupil visual access uh. 
so you can see that after initial uh, patient uh, movements um, now he's uh, cooperating uh, one of the assistant is uh, constantly instilling the topical pro paracane 0.5 percent drops uh, and uh, you can see that such uh, clean and small corneal uh, tears can be repaired under topical anesthesia you can avoid the complications of local as well as general anesthesia so now we have uh, sutured uh, we have completed the two horizontal and two <coughs> vertical sutures and now i'm burying the sutures with the suture tire and i assessed that the anterior chamber has been well formed but still i uh, thought that uh, i should further uh, superimpose uh, further stabilize the corneal wound so I applied another fifth the last suture now that was a very challenging suture because in that it was the longest horizontal suture and in this I incorporated the two vertical sutures as well I made sure you can see that I am coming uh, outside of the medial uh, vertical suture so both vertical sutures are incorporated in the last uh, horizontal suture uh, in such a manner that it is not causing any traction uh, or any pull on those uh, sutures so you should learn this technique uh, that how to incorporate uh, uh, already incorporated sutures in the next one in order to stabilize the wound so for this corneal tier 5 sutures were enough anterior chamber was well formed and uh, at the end I put uh, put uh, subconjunctival gentacin and dexamethasone injection uh, post-op cycloplegics uh, broad spectrum uh, topical uh, antibiotics and steroids were prescribed and i will also show you its post-op picture thank you very much